Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Mohibur Lakhan and I am from the Dean's Call. Today my lecture will be on kinematics for class 9. What I am trying to teach you, first of all, the difference between the distance and the displacement. So, what is a distance? There are two points, any two points in a plane A and B. What are the possible paths? to follow between A and B. Well, how many paths can be there in between A and B? The answer is very clear. There are infinite paths. Means, if you want to go from A to B, we can follow the path like this. And while we follow this path, there can be any possibility that we cannot directly go from A to B. So, we are going to take this part. Number of paths are there and there can be another path. So, probably how many paths can we follow? The answer is very simple. Infinite paths. And every path is called a distance. So, for distance, there is a term in physics called a scale. And we will uh, learn this later on, but you have to keep it in mind that it has got no direction. So, any paths follow between the two points. Any paths. forward between two points is distance. This is called a distance. What is a displacement then? Yeah, very easy. If we follow the minimum shortest distance between the two points, that is like this, this distance, always bear in mind, distance between these two points, which is the shortest distance, is known as displacement. So, displacement is the shortest distance between two points is displacement. If you concentrate, you will learn that the distance can be any path, but displacement is only one path. That is the shortest distance. This is the displacement. The shortest distance. And any part is the dis distance, but the shortest distance is called a displacement. A question arises. Can the distance and displacement covered by the body be the same? The answer is beautiful. Yes. But you will say, okay, the distance is the scalar and this is the vector. How can we the same? How can we say that distance and displacement covered by the body is always the same? In this picture, this is the displacement and these are the distances, so they do not look to be the same. That's very simple. When we try to move, and when we move from A to B in always a straight line, always move in a straight line. This distance and the displacement becomes the same. That's a wonderful idea. So we can say that the distance and the displacement covered by the body will be the same if the body moves in a straight line always. This is a good idea to learn in exam. Uh, these questions are being asked that why did, how a distance and a displacement covered by the body is the same. So Distance is any path, but displacement is the shortest path. And for displacement, you have to be a directed distance. This is a directed distance. So it is a vector which we will learn later on. What is a speed and velocity? What does it mean by speed and velocity? 
The speed of a body is, in physics, we define a speed as the distance covered by a body in a unit interval of time. What is a unit distance? Very simple to learn. What is a unit time? Very simple. If I cover a 10 meter of distance in 2 seconds, this is not my speed, but what will be my speed? 5 meter in 1 second and in physics I call it 5 meter per second. This is a unit, distance, uh, unit time. Sorry. So this distance covered by a body in a unit interval of time is a speed. The unit of speed can be meter per second or kilometers per hour. What is a velocity? You can learn the difference between speed and velocity when you learn the difference between the distance and the displacement. What is a velocity? Velocity is nothing but the displacement covered by a body in a unit interval of time. The same idea. But when you will draw a picture of that, A and B, you will cover a distance of 10 meters <coughs> in 2 seconds. But when you will draw this picture, you will cover a displacement of, say, 16 meter in 4 seconds. Say, this is our data, which is a fruit data. Velocity is the displacement, 16 meter in 4 seconds. What you will get, 4 meter in 1 second. Unit interval of time, the displacement power is the velocity, 4 meter per second. This is actually 1 second, but we do not write it as it is for a Velocity. So what is the distance difference between speed and velocity? The same difference which is between distance and displacement. Speed does not mention a direction, but velocity does mention a direction. So it is a scalar which we will be studying later on, and this is a vector. Similar to that scalar distance and displacement which is a vector. So very simple ideas are there between the speed and velocity, right? This is a scalar, but both of them are the distance or the displacement covered by a body in a unit interval of time. So we will repeat the article that what is the difference between the distance and the displacement? The distance is any path followed between the two points, but displacement is a specific direct distance for the shortest distance. When you take the shortest distance, it becomes a direct distance that is a vector quantity, and the distance is a scalar quantity. The distance covered by a body is in a unit interval of time is always speed. This is not your speed, this is your distance in 2 seconds. So what will be your distance in 1 second? It is 5 meter. And when this distance becomes the displacement, the speed is no more or a speed, it becomes a velocity. So both of them, speed and velocity, can the speed and the velocity be the same? Yes, if the body moves in a straight line, that speed is actually the velocity of the body. I hope <coughs> this lecture will help you out to understand between a scalar and a vector. Distance is a scalar, displacement is a vector. Similarly, the speed is a scalar and velocity is a vector. So, in the next lectures, we will discuss uniform speed, we will discuss variable speed, we will discuss uniform velocity and variable velocity and most probable the acceleration most important article in the kinematics i hope you will learn it and you will going to subscribe this channel in order to get the fresh videos and thank you very much assalamu alaikum